everyone, welcome to Mathflix with Sir Paul. In this discussion, pag-uusapan natin ang tungkol sa parabola. In your previous studies about parabola, perhaps you've already seen how a parabola looks like. Sa discussion ito, pag-aaralan natin ang tungkol sa parabola ng mas malalim at mas detailed. To be more organized, I want to divide the discussion into three parts. First, ano-ano yung mga parts ng ating parabola? Second, ano ang definition ng parabola? And lastly, bibigyan ko kayo mamaya ng example about orientations ng ating parabola. Ang ibig sabihin ng orientation, saan bumubuka ang ating parabola? Our parabola may open in four directions. Upward, downward, left, and right. These are the four orientations. Let's start with the parts of a parabola. Let's try to illustrate a parabola that opens upwards. Let's start. Imagine a line. Let's call this line the directrix L. Now, since the parabola opens upwards, let's choose a point above our directrix. Let's call this point the focus. Now, let's locate another part. Siguro yung part na to, alam na alam nyo na tungkol sa parabola. Let's locate the vertex. Kapag binigyan na tayo ng focus at ng directrix, alam na dapat natin kung nasaan ang vertex. The vertex is found midway between the focus and the directrix. Ibig sabihin, ang vertex ay nasa gitna ng ating focus at ng directrix. To illustrate this, we have... Ibig sabihin lang nito, ang distance from the vertex to the focus ay sharing distance from the vertex to the directrix. That same distance will be P. Now, para matulungan tayo para i-trace yung ating parabola, let's draw a line parallel to the directrix and at the same time passing through the focus. Illustrated using this yellow line. The length of this line will be 4P. This line is called the latus rectum. Ibig sabihin, para makuha natin ng length ng latus rectum, i-multiply lang natin sa 4 yung P. From here, we can already trace our parabola. Mapapansin nyo na yung ating parabola ay dumaan sa endpoints ng ating latus rectum at syempre, dadaan din siya sa ating vertex. So far, meron na tayong directrix, focus, vertex, at latus rectum. Meron pang isa. Let's draw a line passing through the focus and the vertex and this perpendicular to our directrix. When I say perpendicular, it means that it forms a 90-degree angle with the directrix. This line is known as the axis of symmetry. Obvious naman kung bakit siya tinawag na axis of symmetry. It is a line that divides our parabola into two symmetrical parts. In this case, the left side and the right side of our parabola are symmetrical. Ito na yung kumpletong parts ng ating parabola. We have the directrix, the focus, the vertex, which is found between the focus and the directrix. We have the latus rectum, which is a line parallel to the directrix passing through the focus and has a length of 4p. And lastly, we have the axis of symmetry that divides the parabola into two symmetrical parts. Tandaan nyo lang kung nasaan yung mga positions. Kasi kahit balibalig na rin natin yung ating parabola, be it a parabola that opens upwards, downwards, left or right, ganyan na ganyan pa rin yung positions ng ating parts. Let's proceed to the definition of our parabola. A parabola is a set of points that are equidistant from a fixed line, which is the directrix, and a fixed point, which is the focus. I want you to focus on the set of points, equidistant, which means that these points are equidistant from the directrix and the focus. Madali lang itong intindihin. It only means that if we choose any point on the parabola, for example, pili tayo ng isang point, point A, connect that point to the focus, and connect that point to the directrix, those distances will be equal. To understand this further, let's choose another point. Let's have point B. By definition, if we are to connect point B to F and B to the directrix, those distances will be the same. Ganun lang yung ibig sabihin ng definition ng ating parabola. Let's proceed to the four orientations. Again, the orientations refer to where the parabola opens. Our parabola may open upward, downward, left, or right. Try nating mag-graph ng ilang example. At alamin natin kung ano ang orientation ng ating parabola. Alamin na rin natin yung limang parts ng ating parabola. 
Let's say we have the vertex at 1, 2 and the focus at 1, negative 1. Una, plot muna natin ng vertex. Our x value is 1, our y is 2. Find the intersection. That is where 1, 2 is located. Ngayon naman, plot natin ng focus. The focus is at 1, negative 1. Our x value is 1, our y value is negative 1. Find the intersection. That is where 1, negative 1 is located. Now, dito pa lang, kaya na natin i-imagine kung saan bumubuka ang ating parabola. Given that the focus is below our vertex, that means that our parabola opens downwards. Bago natin i-illustrate yung ating parabola, hanapin muna natin yung iba pang parts. Let's locate our directrix. Ang alam natin, ang vertex ay nasa gitna ng ating focus at ng ating directrix. Ibig sabihin, our directrix is above our vertex. Pero gano'ng kalayo sa ating vertex? The distance from the vertex to our focus is P, which in this case is 3. That distance will be the same distance from the vertex to the directrix, which means that this line is our directrix, given by the equation y is equal to 5. Now, you might be asking, Sir, saan po galing yung y is equal to 5? The line is called y is equal to 5 because it is a horizontal line that intersects the y-axis at 5. Now that we have the directrix, let's have our latus rectum. Ang length ng latus rectum ay 4p. Since our p is equal to 3, 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Alam rin natin na ang latus rectum ay parallel sa ating directrix and at the same time, it passes through our focus. This is how our latus rectum looks like. Para balance, we have 6 units to the left of the focus and 6 units to the right of the focus, making up a total of 12 units. Now that we have the latus rectum, we can already trace our parabola. Again, mapapansin nyo that our parabola intersects the endpoints of our latus rectum and at the same time passing through our vertex. Finally, we have the axis of symmetry. In this case, the axis of symmetry is given by the equation x is equal to 1. Again, saan nang galing yung x is equal to 1? The line is called x is equal to 1 because it is a vertical line that intersects the x-axis at 1. That is how we graph a parabola. To better understand this, let's have another example. Let's graph a parabola given that the vertex is at negative 5, negative 1, and the focus is at negative 3, negative 1. Plot muna natin yung mga points na to. The vertex is at negative 5, negative 1. X is negative 5, Y is negative 1. Find the intersection, that is where negative 5, negative 1 is located. Let's have the focus. X is negative 3, Y is negative 1. Find the intersection, that is where negative 3, negative 1 is located. Now, from here, i-identify natin saan bumubuka ang ating parabola. Obviously, our parabola opens to the right. This is because our focus is on the right of the vertex. Ngayon, i-identify naman natin yung iba pa nating parts. Let's have the directrix. Again, the vertex is midway the focus and the directrix. The distance from the vertex to the focus is 2, which is the same distance from the vertex to the directrix. Therefore, this is our directrix given by the equation x is equal to negative 7. Again, the line is called x is equal to negative 7 because it is a vertical line that intersects the x-axis at negative 7. Now, let's have our latus rectum. The length of the latus rectum is 4p. p is equal to 2. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Tatandaan nyo lang na ang latus rectum ay parallel sa ating directrix. Para balance, we have 4 units above our focus and 4 units below our focus, making up a total of 8 units. From here, we can already trace our parabola. Again, our parabola should pass through the endpoints of our latus rectum and at the same time passing through the vertex. Finally, we have the axis of symmetry given by the equation y is equal to negative 1. The line is called y is equal to negative 1 because it is a horizontal line that intersects the y-axis at negative 1. In our next episode, pag-uusapan naman natin ang standard form ng parabola. If you learned something from this video, do not forget to share this to your friends and your classmates. 
Also, comment down below kung ano pa yung mga math topics na gusto nyo i-discuss natin sa ating mga series. I know that online class has been very challenging to some of our students and also our teachers, but I believe that as we work together, we can survive through this. Again, I am Sir Paul and this has been Mathlix with Sir Paul. Thank you for watching.